B is REZ 2023-12 GT's Rector Service. It is located at 1350 and 1326 Old Platteville Road. This involves 3.2 acres. It's currently CH. The request is for M2 and it will have well in septic. Mr. Dad. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No significant updates since the work session yesterday. This case is a little more complex than our last one. It was advertised for M2. Staff is recommending M1 with the six conditions in your packet. The Planning Commission also recommended unanimously for those conditions and that M1 zoning. Uh, the applicants are agreeable to that tonight. I'm not sure if they are in the audience, um, but that is the last word we have. For them. So that's what I'll report to the Commission. Willing to address any questions you may have, and I think that's it, so. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Okay, hearing none, we'll move into the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. My name is David Dorflinger. My address is 30 Loganberry Circle, about Austin, Georgia. My business address is 1300 Old Clydeville Road, Dallas, Georgia. That's your business address? And you're speaking in opposition? I'm speaking in opposition of this, of this okay. change. Of the change. Of the change. Okay. Are you the business owner of the this property? owner of the property adjacent to this property. Adjacent to it. Okay, I apologize. Then. Okay, go ahead and say what you're about to say. Um, so, uh, and, and, and I also want to state that I've also talked to um, the owner of the property that's directly behind us, Jody Winters, who can speak for his father, Jimmy Winters, who's in hospice care right now, and so he's having to deal with that, so he couldn't be here. Um, but Jody also opposes this, and uh, you know, some of the main reasons of this are, you know, it was my understanding when this was kind of developed that this would be, um, you know, zone commercial, like it was, uh, with new structures being built, um, which so far it has, um, and not a you know, record yard at the corner there. Um, I, don't, I don't think that a record yard, or however it wants to be defined as, um, would be the most attractive thing at the corner there. Um, furthermore, I've looked at the buffering that's been recommended there, and all I see is buffering on the north end of it, not on the east, west, or south ends of it, which you know other properties are at as well, which this change would affect those other properties as well. But I'm not sure that almost any amount of buffering um, would help the property values around it. Now there's plenty of M zoning around this property, and more specifically kind of across the street in the industrial park. But I don't think that any, you know, and it says M1 across there, but that's a residential house. And I don't, on the tax map it says R4, I don't know why it says M1 on the house map. But nevertheless, um, there's plenty of M1 properties around. Why change that where brand new builds are being built and put a you know, salvage yard there with 40 foot of buffer in the back? So that's, that's my concern. What is the name of your business? Southeastern Landscape Group. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone else that would like to speak in opposition? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in support of this request? Is there anyone that would like to speak, speak in support? Okay, hearing none, is there anyone that would like to rebut what the comment was made? All right, hearing none, we'll close the public hearing portion of the meeting, and commissioners, I'll turn it back over to you for your consideration. Mr. Chairman, I want to clarify, <clears throat> this is what we traditionally know of as a, I'm reluctant to use the term junkyard, but more like this is, this is a record service that is bringing damage or compounded or vehicles from 
the side of the road, bringing them there to store them. Right? Hence the need for this buffering and these, what is it, eight conditions being put on there. I mean, am I correct in that, Jason? I mean, it's a joke. So job. This, this wrecker service is in between a repair shop and a typical junker salvage yard. So they're not fully a salvage yard where they just want to store vehicles and um, trade them for parts, swap them for parts, pull parts off. But they do have a need when they perform their service to go get a wrecked vehicle, store it there for a number of days before the insurance company picks it up or actually sells it to a salvage yard. So staff's challenge was you really have a use that's in between a repair shop and a junk and salvage yard. We don't have that in our code. So that's why we tried to come meet them in the middle with these conditions with an M1 rather than an M2. So well, we that's how to, we tried to that's how we tried to deal with this. Well, we have to assume the works. I mean, we have to assume that it's going to be a junkyard with vehicles that could be there for an extended period of time. Right? I mean, if we're assuming, yes, sir. We tried to let the conditions control what we felt like was worst case. If you truly want to go worst case, sir, then the worst case is M2 salvage yard. Um, based on the applicant's commitments to us and their practice, and honestly, sir, the size of the property, we thought we could come in and try to give them um, a workable solution without trying to trying to get to M2 on this property, because that was really intense for staff. Well, and that's my concern. I mean, I feel like we're possibly trying to put a square peg in a round hole, and I have I have serious concern when we. Rezone. I mean, we've talked about this in planning meetings, and you know, since I've been a commissioner, that you know, when you rezone something, and you have to put so many conditions on something mm -hmm. that have to be put in the laps of Miss Bates. I mean, who are we going to go over there? Are we prepared to go over there and, and, and find out if they've got 51 cars today, or 49, or I mean, are we really going to go over there and count those cars and, and try to inform? I mean, I know it's easy. To Build an eight-foot fence, verify it's there, and, and meet that standard. And but I'm just a little concerned that we might be trying to aggressively do something here. And I mean, I found that area, despite the M1 and M2 zoning across St. Augustine Road, I find that an attractive area. I mean, I, I find that as a as a neat, tidy-looking space that if you've got cars coming off the interstate, you know, northbound. You got folks traveling St. Augustine southbound to Industrial Boulevard. I'm just concerned, and I mean nothing against the business owner, but at the end of the day, it's old, broke down cars look bad, and I'm just concerned about damaging the character of that corridor to our community. Yes, sir. I mean, while we do have the support of Miss Bates, and I'm very thankful for that, your points are your valid, sir. We just tried to bring the commission what we felt like was a workable solution, even amongst uh, you know some opposition from the neighbors. But you're correct. I mean, this particular corner within the last five years, you have two newer small businesses. Now they have something that's actually unsightly because the property right now is not kept well. Um, it's really just been overgrown and left almost abandoned. And now what you have is a small business wanting to locate there, but it just carries some concerns with it. So. We, we hear you, sir, 100%. Well, and I don't misunderstand me. I appreciate the staff's effort to do all they could to try to reach the agreement here. And usually that's, you know, that works. But just in my mind, it just doesn't fit in this particular location. So, so if, if I may, basically a record service with storage uh, capabilities is not allowed in CC. It's not allowed in CH, sir. We, we, we do not think the current zoning would allow their use. You see it? Okay. Yes, sir. So, can I ask a question? <coughs> so, Commissioner Ornstein, if, if this is not the right location for uh, M1 or M2 zoning in the county, where would be in the county? I, I don't know. I mean, you know, we just say that about every case. But if you look at the if you look at the M1 and M2 that's already zoned in this area, then this I mean to me it's TH now. But the rest of the, the character area as it's zoned is M1 or M2, or 75% of it is. Yeah, and I and I understand the, the how M2 
two and M M one work, and I understand to a degree why it should be, why something of this use should be in an M one, which is manufacturing and industrial. Oil. But like I said, I just I find that area to be not so industrialized, despite the fact that there's industry all over the place. I just I just feel like in my mind that a, a junkyard in this in this area is not a good fit, regardless of what kind of zone it needs to be in or, or what current is on. I mean, it's just, I'm just asking this. <laughs> it's just my opinion. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Here you go, Commissioners. I'll turn it over to you for consideration. I move with another. Okay, we have a motion to deny. Do we have a second? We have a second. Ms. Evans, any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. All those in opposition, please raise your hand. Votes three to two. The motion carries to deny the request. 